What's up everybody, your boy Pat, back again with another edition of Second Take. Today's topic of the day is some Pumas. This is a Heat Rocks production. Now, before we get into it, make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell as it helps out the channel. Now, the Pumas, I haven't unboxed the Puma in quite some time, but I'm a little, you know, pissed off that they screwed my box up, but I'm probably gonna just throw this box away. So, the first thing I wanna show you, the front of the box, got Puma Brandon on the right there. On the right side, a little different. Some color migration can occur due to the nature of the material. I've never seen that before, but I guess that's the thing now. I also have Puma Brandon. On the back, Puma Brandon. And on the left side, you got Puma Brandon in here. These are the ones that we're actually gonna unbox, the H.ST.20. This is the high risk red and the Puma black. So you'll see these, I feel like, I'm not quite sure what these are, but I feel like they're a running shoe. But I really think these are gonna be really nice to rock um, on a day off when you're not really just wanting to rock regular sneakers. So let's get inside the box. Puma cat right there. So standard white paper, I wish they would have did something other than just standard white, but it is what it is. So let's take out the sneakers really quick. And that red really pops and it looks really good with the black. I like the, the combination of red, black, and white. I think that's a really awesome color combination. But let's see what these look like out of the box really quickly. So there they go. And man, the red on the camera really pops. Like this is the brightest red like ever in the history of man. But anyway. <laughs> Um, it doesn't look that bright in real person, but it looks really, really nice on the camera. So let's throw one of the sneakers to the side and we'll take a look at this sneaker. A little different than what I traditionally unbox, but this is not really, this is very foldable. This is why I said it might be a good running shoe. It's very flexible as far as mesh material. Let's take that paper out really quickly. But the mesh material, this isn't like a, a rigid sneaker it's very as you can see I can just squeeze it down so this is gonna form to your foot but the outer sole you got black white and red this here is like like uh, a material that has been filled so it's got some bumps here I don't know if you can see that on the camera you can actually but it's, it's really nice material here totally different material here and then a totally different material here, mesh up here on the top. And then even this white here feels almost like felt. So they got a different amount of textures going on in the side of the shoe. You got the H.ST.20. You got an air bubble here on the back. I like how they did this and they made it say Puma and I like how they centered that. So you have Puma and then you have Puma on the loop, obviously. And then here it says LQD Cell. On the insole, it's very similar to the outsole with the exception of the brand in there. You can't see the air bubble either. The air bubble is just on, just on the outside there, which is a little different. You got the sole coming up. So let's look at the sole really quick. You got the Puma, it's just two colors. And it's, uh, I don't know if that's, you can actually, let me see, no. So you can see through the sole there, but it's um, not gonna get water in it. So that's good, because you can't see my finger. Um, and then if you look at here, the actual tongue, it just says Puma. On the inside, we got nothing. They've got like a kind of plastic here or rubber almost. Inside of the shoe, it says LD, LQD Cell again. No Puma branding in there. The laces, they got flat laces, which are really nice because it goes well with this. There aren't here. Let's look really quickly at the uh, at the uh, aglets, it's just that clear plastic piece right there. But the eyelets don't exist per se. They just have these hoops here that you thread through. So these were really nice. Um, I didn't pay a lot of money for these. I only paid uh, 38 bucks for these. They were on sale, so I thought I'd give them a shot. But um, for 38 bucks, I think these are well worth it. I think regular price was like 90. So these are awesome. They got some really different colors if you like, but I really like this color scheme. So I'm glad I was able to get it. Shout out to everybody rocking my Instagram, YouTube, the Anchor app. You can also find me on Spotify, as well as Apple and Google Podcasts. And now I'm on TikTok. It's your boy, Pat. Peace. Catch you on the next one.